Hello everybody! In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable the on-screen keyboard in a Windows operating system, how to configure it and enable automatic startup for this keyboard at logon, and how to enter a password at logon when the main keyboard is out of order. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. In addition to the external physical keyboard, Windows operating systems also feature an integrated on-screen keyboard. You don't need a touchscreen to use it, it is shown on the display and you can use a mouse or another pointing device to work with it. You may need <coughs> the on-screen keyboard if you have a password at logon or you want to use a computer but the main keyboard doesn't work. In such situations, the on-screen keyboard will come in handy. Enter on-screen keyboard in the search field and press Enter. The keyboard with all standard keys will appear on the screen and you can use it for typing. It will be there until you close it. You can also start it by going to the Start menu and then to Windows Ease of Access folder. In Windows 7 you can find it in All Programs, Accessories, Ease of Access on-screen keyboard. However, sometimes in Windows 7 it's not there. In this case, go to Control Panel – Programs and Features. In the menu on the left, select Turn Windows Features on or off. In the window that opens, check the box Table PC Optional Components. <coughs> After that, it will appear in the Ease of Access folder. Another way to start the on-screen keyboard is to go to Settings – Ease of Access, select Keyboard and enable on-screen keyboard. Or you can do it by pressing the key shortcut Windows R and typing OSK in the window that opens. On the keyboard, click on Options to see the settings. Use them to configure the keyboard as you like. If you enable the Use Click sound, you will hear sounds when you click the keys. When you enable Show keys to make it easier to move around the screen, you will see a set of keys for moving the cursor around. By checking the option Turn on Numeric Keypad, you will get more keys with numbers. There are also several modes to activate the keys. For example, in the Click on Keys mode, keys are activated by clicking the mouse. And in the mode Hover over the keys, symbols will be entered when you keep the cursor on them for some time. The scan through keys mode is the longest and the least convenient way to activate the keys. You should use it only if you don't like the first two options. You have to set the scanning speed, the device and the key for scanning. This is how it works. When you click the scanning key, the keyboard is scanned and when it reaches the row you need, you should click the scanning key again. When the scanning reaches the symbol you need, click the scanning key again to select the symbol. The text prediction option will suggest you the words as you type and insert a space automatically after predicted words. Clicking the F1 button will replace the numeric keys above with the F1 to F12 keys. The top key will make the keyboard stay at the bottom of the screen and the up and down keys will move it accordingly. You can also expand or reduce the keyboard by pulling the window corners. When you click Fade, it will become transparent. To make the on-screen keyboard start up automatically when you sign into Windows and especially at this stage when the password is required, go to Control Panel, Ease of Access Center, use the computer without a mouse or a keyboard. Check the option Use the on-screen keyboard and click OK. Then go to Change Sign-in Settings and check the box next to Tab without the keyboard at Sign In. After you reboot the computer, the keyboard will appear at logon when a password is required and after signing in to an account. If your main keyboard stopped working at logon and you have to enter a password, you can do it easily with the on screen keyboard. To start it, click on the Ease of Access icon at the bottom of the screen. After that, you'll be able to enter the password and log on. 
That is all for now. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck.